so after the Breville sandwich maker, I love a Breville sandwich maker. Yeah. Had an unexpected boom in sales. I bought one in the first few weeks of lockdown. Alice Beer has been shopping for the uh, latest kitchen gadgets we all need in our lives. Good morning, Alice. Looking morning, forward to this. Morning, Alice. Morning. How are you doing, darling? Good morning. Good morning, my favourite people. Yes, I too bought a Breville sandwich maker in the first lockdown. What do you do once you've got the sandwich maker? Where do you go from that, Dermot? Do you actually I'll use tell it? You where you go from that? Yes. Oh, yes, we do. We do. Um, I think everyone's a little bit bored in their kitchens. We just want another piece of equipment just to kind of zhuzh it all up a bit. So I've got some here of the pieces of equipment that you didn't really know you needed in your kitchen. <laughs> do you need them? Let me run through. I've been trying these. This, my friends, is the Breville Waffle Maker. Look at these babies wow. that I have been making. That one is hot. Now, it's a bit of a thing to keep in the kitchen to justify its existence on just making waffles, even though a Saturday morning with a stack of waffles is the thing of dreams. You can also make potato cakes with leftover potatoes. I made, you may have a little picture of it there, I made an omelette in it by just pouring some eggs and some tomatoes in there and it cooks it. it really? takes seven minutes to make a waffle and it's just joyous. It's a really good thing. It's very exciting just to try anything. You can even, if you're very healthy, you can make a little courgette and parmesan fritter in it too. Ooh, yeah. It's Check basically it just hot plates. Can you justify the existence of that? $34.99? Yeah. Well, can yeah. you look a steak definitely. on it as well? Can you put now. bang a steak on it? <laughs> Well, I don't see why not, because it's, it's plate, basically it? a hot plate. It's yeah. a little griddle. That's yes, great. That's exactly. A, that's a good that's a bargain. Um, you haven't that, aren't you? Yeah. Now, <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to see you justifying the existence of this. Oh, this yeah, is the Hotel Ooh. Chocolat Velvetizer. Oh, wow. I mean, frankly, this is more like a Valentine's Day bedroom piece of kit. It's so darn sexy. Oh, yeah. It comes in three different colours. This is the copper one. I mean, you just want to stroke it. Even if you never use it, it's worth having in your kitchen. It's I just could do gorgeous. some other things Look, with that as well. 100 quid for this is. Alison, it's your oh, no. birthday. You can't get away with everything. In case someone came it into heats the house, up the chocolate. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> carry on, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry on. So you take your Hotel Chocolat. Uh, these are in the sachets. They come in vanilla, white, orange, chilli, salted caramel. Little sachet, you add it to a bit of milk, and it doesn't just froth the milk. It heats it to a temperature where the true flavour of the chocolate comes out. Now, Hotel Chocolat is renowned for its beautiful chocolate. Not too sweet, gorgeous flavour. It's really authentic and ethically grown as well and farmed as well. So then basically you pour out, you get, for your oh, money, you get these two yeah. white mugs as well. Pour it out. It's absolutely delicious. Now, I have tried making it in a milk frother. It's the same but not the same. Mm. If you can afford the £99 for this, then it's worth it. By the way, if you are going to buy one, buy it from the Hotel Chocolat site. Sign up to be a VIP. It doesn't cost you anything and you get 15% off your first purchase. So that's oh, worth so doing. It's a lot of money, that is, isn't it? it anyway. £99. Very beautiful. That's a lot of money. You love chocolate. It's a sacrifice. It is a lot, a lot of money. It is a lot of money. <laughs> mm. But frankly, if you think about it, you know, if you're going to go out and buy your kids hot chocolate every Saturday, It'll pay for itself. I can justify okay, that enough. one. It's so beautiful. OK, now, look at this. This is a little Von Chef popcorn maker. You saw it spewing out earlier. Now, you measure out your popcorn kernels yeah. in the lid, tip them in, and within two minutes, because I've timed it, oh, it is wow. spewing out chocolate. You get six of these little... Uh, chocolate? Popcorn. <laughs> you get six of mind. these little containers... <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, the good thing about this is it, it heats it up with air. So there's no sugar, there's no butter, there's nothing else involved apart from the corn kernel oh, and excellent. some hot air. So actually, if you just add a bit of cinnamon or you just add a bit of salt afterwards, here it comes. Here come the oh, babies. Well come done, out, Alice. Look at the timing of that. Uh, well done. Let us out of here. That let is us brilliant. out of here. I love um, it. <laughs> It keeps on going. This is the gift that keeps on giving. It's <laughs> like um, $34.99 <laughs> and it's really good. 
It is a bit, yes. So I quite like that one. It's yeah, quite lovely. fun and it doesn't take up too much space and it looks nice. Now, this is the thing I've been trying all week. This arrived on Monday. It's the Tefal Cake Factory. It costs £169.99. How can I justify 170 quids worth of plastic sitting on my kitchen surface? Mm. Well, I can't, said I. And then I tried it. I made a baked Alaska. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't. I made a baked cheesecake. Oh. Baked cheesecake, which is, the family say, the best one I've ever made. Um, I made your birthday cake in wow. two lots. And brilliant. now, if Lee can have a quick peep, I've got cooking in here meringues. Wow! Oh. Look at those babies. Can you see them? So it's quite good, isn't it? It does everything. It's intelligent baking. So if you are a little bit unsure about the oven and you're turning things up and down, up and down, and you're not sure. It's a really good introduction. It's quite fun for the kids. It does so many different things. It's got so many different programmes on it, so it's worth trying. That, I would justify, but it is 170 quid. This one is, you know, when you go to an ice cream, you go to a shopping mall and they're demoing the yeah. rolled ice cream. Mm -hmm. I can say that's been in my freezer for a very long time and that's the best I could do with a rolled ice cream. <laughs> so bad. I'm really sorry bad. that the ice cream roller for 25 quid, I just, I would say, wait till the shops are open, go out and get a treat and watch the masters at work because I, even my teenagers couldn't make it work. I'm it sorry. Tasty, Probably my fault with the freezing of it, but can't, you know, just couldn't make it work. Now, the last thing I've got here is the Lakeland Electric Chocolate Fountain, wow. which is 34.99. Look at that. Where could we go wrong without one of these? Enjoy. I mean, honestly, we had one of these when my children were about seven and it stayed in the cupboard, it comes out for every birthday and it's absolute blooming heaven. <laughs> I mean, it's just a gorgeous thing. You melt the chocolate first and then you put it on and you just, it's a lovely centerpiece. If for example, it was your birthday today. Yeah. Oh, so thank you. On your behalf, I break my diet. Happy blooming birthday, Ali. Alex, oh. you're the best. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much.